so we have discussed about the basic concepts associated with max terms so now we'll discuss how the pos expression is formed using the max terms okay so let me write an expression here in terms of max terms okay so let me write so as usual as we have done before we are using three variables a b and c so this is the first term of the boolean expression okay so let's say this is the boolean expression now let us focus at each of the terms of the boolean expression this these are the individual terms of the boolean expression now you can see here these are all max terms why because one or more individual variables are added together sum together or or together that is the definition of a max term so by the definition of max term every uncomplemented variable represents logic 0 and every complemented variable represents logic 1 so by this uh, definition here this a plus b plus c all the boolean variables they are uncomplemented so it actually represents 0 0 0 here a plus b plus c bar actually it is not plus i am use i am just uh, saying plus it is actually a or b or c bar similarly when it will be multiplied it's not a multiplied with b it's actually a and b but we just use it uh, a into b or a multiplied with b or a plus because we are just uh, uh, we are we have just got ourselves habituated into saying like that so whenever in digital electronics you see a plus sign it means it is or operation when you see multiplication it means it is and operation okay so here this one a plus b plus c bar here a and b are uncomplemented c is complemented so it is 0 0 1 similarly here a is uncomplemented b and c are complemented so it is 0 One one here. A is complemented. B and C are uncomplemented. So it is one zero zero. Okay. So in binary representation, it is zero zero zero. In binary representation, it is zero zero one. In binary representation, it is zero one one. And here it is one zero zero. In decimal, it is zero. In decimal, it is one. In decimal, it is three. In decimal, it is four. Okay. So this POS expression, okay, this POS expression. is a standard boolean expression why because it consists of several max terms and it together product of sums it consists of a product of max terms also it is in standard form because all the variables are present in each and every max term okay no variable is missing so we can write 
this POS expression as an equivalent way of representing this POS equation as pi, this symbol is pi, then capital M with the decimal representations of each of the max terms that is 0, 1, 3 and 4. In SOP, we used to write it in this way. In SOP, we used to write it as like this, SOP sum summation symbol small m and whatever the terms that are present but here it is pi followed by capital M and then the max term decimal equivalence. So always whenever you see a particular boolean expression always pay attention whether it is represented in SOP or POS to identify POS you have to check for this pi symbol and capital M. For SOP, you have to check for the summation symbol and small m. It is very important, it is critical to know whether it is SOP or POS because everything changes when a Boolean expression is in a particular form because in POS, complemented variables are 1, uncomplemented are 0. In SOP, complemented variables are 0, uncomplemented are 1. So everything will change. Okay. If we fail to identify the uh, correct canonical form of expression of the Boolean expression, our, uh, our analysis it will go wrong. So always pay attention to this. So this is how we write a standard Boolean expression in POS or product of sum or product of max terms. Okay. So I hope you like this video. And please subscribe my channel Engineering Tutorial for more such videos related to electrical, electronics, instrumentation and communication engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.